Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I have another humble... Wait, nope, not a humble. This one is a fanatical bundle, but it actually has a hell of a lot in common with a currently running humble bundle. So you can choose between the two, or you can pick them both up. Just to be aware, there is definitely overlap between the two deals. Now, in terms of pricing, they are nearly identical in layout, and what we are looking at today is the Mega Music Collection Royalty Free Bundle. This works kind of like a humble in that it's organized into three different tiers. You don't decide how your money is allocated, but other than that, it's basically the same thing. So here you can see at the one dollar or the yeah one dollar tier or the tier one, you get six products. At the next tier up, you get fourteen products, and then finally the last tier, you get twenty eight products. So that is one dollar, ten dollars and $20 USD, or as you can see, those are the Canadian equivalent prices. What you're talking about here is a collection of royalty-free music tracks and loops. Now, the term loop may be kind of new to you, but it shouldn't be. And if you're in the world of this for game development, loops are actually a really nice thing. So here you can see my DAW of choice, and I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the things that you can download. So for example, here is a heavy music collection, or here is the epic percussion progression. And what you're seeing here is you're getting a collection of WAV files. There's also some bonus sometimes. Sometimes. Here's orchestral versions of the same thing, but let's say you needed a looped precision uh, track here. So let's grab epic track number two, and I'm going to drop this into my DAW as a sound channel. So you could use this as a soundtrack in your game, and what's nice about it is it's looped. That means when it ends, it blends right back into the beginning. So here I'll show you what I mean. I'll start playing this guy. Okay, so that's an example of the kind of music you're getting. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this track. And we'll just plunk it on at the end there. All right, so let's just arrow that. Ooh, not that far over. Uh, zoom in and across. And what I want to basically do is as this track ends, like so, it's going to go into another track. So this is one track and another track. The exact same thing, but in looped version. So what you're going to hear is this one's going to end and this one's going to start. And they're going to be seamless. See? So what that allows you to do is basically you can have this programmatically in the background. You can have it loop and loop and loop and loop over and over again. And it can make a one minute track sound like a 20 minute track. Or you can also use these cut in other music. So I could bring in, uh, let's say, one from the other example here. So let's go and see like the heavy guitar riffs example. Uh, here it is. Again, it is a collection of wave file. And even though it doesn't say it, a lot of these are looped as well. I'm going to grab a non-looped one and we'll drop that into my DAW of choice. We'll put this track right down below it. So now we've got a heavy guitar track going along with our looped percussion track. And you're going to notice the non-loop track tends to be a fair bit bigger. All right, so go ahead. And I have no idea if these go together, by the way. And here's kind of what you get. Let's go closer to the loop. They actually go together kind of good. So here you can see there's a variety of different kind of music packages in this. And let's on head on back over to the package itself. Now, before I jump into the details of this package, you're going to notice there's some very similar names and outright identical names to this humble bundle that is going on right now. This is the Big Music 2 bundle. It is actually still running. There's eight more days on it. So if you pick this one up, be very, very careful. You're going to definitely see overlap between the two packs. I think it's about 50%. So this one, this epic percussion loops there, for example and the heavy rifts. Those are both there. And if we head on back over here, they're here as well. So you can see uh, heavy rifts here and the percussion one is hidden here somewhere. So uh, what you're getting here at the $1, you drop one buck on this, you get this set right here. You get the mini, so the music loops mini set, the action and combat game soundtrack, the epic and dramatic game music pack, the old school rock music pack, the electronic music pack, and finally the action trailer music pack. In all these cases, you're getting a bunch of DRM-free WAV files that you would then you can use them directly in your game engine, something like the Godot engine. You can drop it in and use it straight up as your soundtrack. Or like you saw here, you could drop it into your favorite DAW of choice, something like LMMS or Reaper, or in my case, Mixcraft, and you can use it to compose more elaborate songs. So that's what the $1 tier gets you. Anything that you're interested in, by the way, you can click it. It will bring you down here to the bottom, and you can hear a sample of what the music in that pack sound like. So you got here, that's the $1 tier. Next, we jump up to the $10 tier here. You're getting the casual game music pack, casual and arcade games loop pack, and energy and action uh, rock music pack, the action and powerful game music loops, the adventure game music pack, the battle scenes music pack, the scary and mystical game music pack, and finally, the mystical game music pack. Now, do keep in mind, in addition to these ones, obviously, you're going to get everything at the $1 tier as well. And then finally, we get into the $20 tier, or 
tier three. Here you get the universal music collection, the heavy rifts, uh, the fantasy adventure music, the epic battle trailers and loops. Uh, lyric Voices Choir Music Pack, the Hard Rock and Heavy Metal Music Pack, the Medieval Game Music Pack, the Medieval and Adventure Game Loops, uh, the uh, Action and Powerful Percussion Loops, the Action and Combat Percussion Loops, the Electronic Abstract Music Pack, the Electronic Logos Pack, and uh, Action and Combat Scenes, the Cosmos Music Pack, and finally the Space Adventure Music Pack, and of course, everything in Tier 2 and everything in tier one so basically for 20 bucks us you get about 28 different collections of music all in uh, royalty free wave format now one of the downsides here uh, there is on each one of these a click here to learn more button that is currently not working so the one thing i am not getting explicitly here from the fanatical site is the license that these are released under but fortunately from the humble site having purchased everything there is a license available there and this is that license now i'm going to assume that you know, definitely confirm that it's got a license like this, but almost guarantee it's under the same or the same ish license. And it's a very straightforward license. Uh, grants the buyer to a non exclusive, non transferable lifetime worldwide right to use the music packs in multimedia projects like online videos and also YouTube uh, websites animation, games, films, etc. Purchaser can use assets in own personal use and commercial projects. And the license does not allow the buyer to claim the music seller as their own, register and sell music in any store platform, or redistribute and sub-license music assets other than the part as relevant of the project. So basically, you can't sell it as music. And this other one right here is very, very important. You can't claim this as your own. Now, we're in the areas where you're going to trip up with any of this music stuff. And the reason why I only play really small clips of music is is that the content ID system on YouTube is really, really stupid. And it boils down to they've got an algorithm to detect if you're playing, you know, uh, Devo or Duran Duran or, well, I'm stuck in the 80s, uh, Limp Biscuit, you name it. They know what the sounds, the songs sound like, and they've got a fingerprint ID from them. At the same time, if you publish a YouTube video with a soundtrack on it and you're the first one, you could potentially claim that video as your own own so then someone else does it and they can try and issue a copyright strike against you the world of audio in the world of youtube and twitch and all those other platforms is a messed up screwed up kind of place can you use this stuff in youtube yes should you maybe just do be aware you might run afoul of the copyright content id system but basically what this is saying is you can't upload this music track and then claim that it's yours and copy strike other people which is very very important uh so that is the pack if you're using it for your game no problem at all i would just be a little worried if you're using it for your trailer make sure that you make a derived work so it has its own fingerprint and if you're using these things in something that you're creating yourself it's not going to hit that content id anyways unless it's really not modified much and that is nothing to do with this pack that's a general worry about anything you ever create when it comes to music and the world of YouTube. And it's nothing against these packs. It's all about the fact that YouTube is full of stupid. So just don't run into problems there. I just want to warn you up ahead front. So what you're seeing here, the top tier of this pack is $20 USD. You're getting 28 products. By the way, if you don't like that one, the Humble, which is still going on and I already covered. So I'll link that down below as well if you would rather deal with the Humble. A lot of the same content. Again, a lot of different content too. So if you really like the stuff that you saw in the Humble bundle, you can potentially pick up a whole lot more here over on the Fanatical side of things for a comparable price. So you see here the Humble top tier was... Uh, actually more expensive, $25 US, but I think there's a little, yeah, there's, it's a bigger collection too. So, uh, to each their own in this pack, if you happen to miss out on that one, or for some reason you don't like Humble, but you'd still want to pick up a music collection, or there's something here that isn't in that other bundle, you can compare them side to side. I will give you links to both of them down below. Uh, this is another bundle of assets out there for you, especially if you are like less musically inclined, you know, leaning on someone else's work is definitely not a negative thing to do. So that's what the mega music collection is all about. And the license allows you to do whatever you want. Just do be aware, YouTube has stupid rules like the content ID system and you wanna be a little bit careful whenever you're using an audio clip on YouTube. Nothing to do with this, that applies to every single asset you ever buy anywhere forever and ever and ever. Just one of those things to be aware of. All right, that's it. What do you think of this collection? Let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.